Hi, my name is Marcus Segisi and I had the privilege to play Father Damien. He is the protagonist in Molokai, the story of Father Damien. Father Damien, originally called Joseph the Vister, as said in Holy Man, was sent to Molokai by Bishop Margaret. Father Damien volunteered himself to go to Molokai in order to help the lepers there. Father Damien is mostly wearing black and at hat. I tried my best to impersonate this character and had fun filming with my friends. I hope you enjoy my performance and my other group members. Thank you. Oh, hi, my name is William Sotelo. I have the privilege of playing the roles of Dr. Kaluis, Bishop Cockerman, and Prime Minister Gibson. Dr. Kaluis comes to Molokai with new medicine, but does not stay on the island. Bishop Cockerman is the second bishop to work with Damien. Prime Minister Gibson, initially a strong supporter of Damien, later created many roadblocks for Damien. I would act these roles to the best of my ability to entertain the audience, even if my accent is not accurate. I'll also narrate to give the audience a better idea of the events that are occurring. Thank you. Ano I, my name is Courtney Alento. I'm privileged to play the role of Mother Marianne. In the film, she's often to refer to as just sister. She has many different aliases, such as Mother Marianne Cope or Sister Marianne. It is Mother Marianne who is sent to Molokai to help Father Damien. Father Damien also employs her. Being a Franciscan nun, she is dressed only in her habit, which consists of a black tunic, silver crucifix, and, well, a veil, and triple knotted rope, which is tied around the waist. Mother Marianne is a strong supporter of Damien. I tried my best to be the character and had fun as acting as Mother Marianne. I hope you enjoy my performance as well as our whole group who worked very hard on this project. Thank you. Ano I, my name is Jerry Cadiz. I have the privilege of playing the roles of Joseph Dutton, King David Kalakawa, and an assistant. The assistant, James, is seen writing out a letter by Father Leonor addressed to Father Damien. Joseph Dutton, who is referred to as brother by Father Damien, was a war veteran who decided to assist the lepers of the colony. King David Kalakawa, accompanied by Princess Lili Okalani, visited Damien while he stayed in Honolulu. Dutton was a strong supporter of Damien and helped him as he aged and grew ill. Kalakawa also showed his appreciation for Damien in response to Damien's care for the afflicted people of Hawaii. I attempted to excel in these positions, trying to capture the sincerity and gratitude and concern displayed by the characters in response to Father Damien. Thank you. Ano ay, my name is Carly Marie Kiala Plehua Nani Vas. I have the honor of playing the role of Sister Leo Kalpina. This is her character name in our movie, Moloka'i, the story of Father Damien. In the book we read, called Holy Man, she didn't really have a big part. Even though she doesn't have a big part, I am still glad to be portraying her character because she is still a great character. Being by Damien's side and helping along, alongside Sister Marianne and, and the other sisters. Being a Catholic sister, she is dressed only in her nun's apparel, which consists of a black and white habit with a crucifix around her neck. I'll try my best to be in character and have fun doing my scene. I hope you enjoy my performance as well as our whole group who work day and night to make this movie the best it can be. Thank you. I know, I'm, my name is John Nguyen and I have the honor of playing Dr. Chuso. He is first appeared in the movie when he is needed to inspect Father Damien. Uh, being a doctor, he is dressed in black slacks, a, color, a solid colored dress shirt, and a lab coat. I will also be player playing Father Leonor, who is not very supportive of Damien. I tried my best to be in character and, have, and I had fun doing his acting. I hope you enjoy my performance as well as my group. We worked very hard on this project. Thank you. My name is William Sotelo. In this chapter, there exists an exchange between of letters between Father Damien and his superiors in Honolulu. It first starts with Father Leonor addressing a letter to Damien regarding concerns, donations, and Damien's capabilities as a worker. Father Damien replies and remains brazen in his request for assistance and money. Two more letters are exchanged until the bishop himself writes Damien himself regarding his visit to Honolulu. One Christian action is how Damien remains humble throughout his letters, even when har face harsh, scathing, blunt remarks. Another Christian action Damien has performed involves his honesty. I must thank you, Father, for allowing me to do this honor for you. 
Now please, if you will, can you dictate to me what you want me to write? Okay, sir. We have read Professor Clifford's account of your many wonders. It seems you are a doctor, magistrate, school teacher, carpenter, farmer, and even a grave digger. Since you are apparently doing the work of 12 men, I see. Hardly, it hardly surprises me that I have received a number of donations. Excuse me, um, may you please slow down? I need to catch up. Since you are apparently doing the work of 12 men, it is surprising to me that I have received a number of donations. But at yet, there are expenses here. I will try to pay $25 for lumber next month. Thank you. Father, a letter from the provincial has arrived. If you may read it for a moment. Afterwards, please allow me to write your response. I'm sure you must be tired. Just simply dictate it to me, and I shall listen to the best of my abilities. I thank you very much for passing on the news of my death. May I recommend that the headstone read, Here lies the leper priest who seldom made his confession. Uh, Brother Dutton reports that hundreds of dollars have come from America alone. I need $79.43 for longer for the hospital, for the hospital. I was surprised that I'm labor free in one of many manifestations yours in Christ Damien. We have been shocked to discover that 1,000 pounds has been transferred from England to, for your use alone. The Prime Minister and Mother Marianne are meeting this very moment to discuss the matter. A certain Dr. Sex and Prince of Wales are involved, no doubt your probation. If I have counted too much on your humility, I am to be blamed. It is that your providence, I remind you of your vow of poverty. My name is William Sotelo. In this chapter, Damien is first seen at St. Philomena's church crying. He expresses how distraught he is as he cannot communicate with God. The chapter then transitions to Honolulu, where he is dining at Kaukauko Branch Hospital, engaging in a conversation with Mother Marianne. Damien enters a rather infuriating physical examination and then later greets the Hawaiian royal family. Damien portrays Christian values through his devotion to God. He remains in the church crying out in deep prayer despite not hearing his voice. Another Christian action Damien performs is how he remains resolute and honest regarding his vow of chastity. It has been reported that you are installing Japanese bards in the sister's hospital. Since the government continues to send all the advanced cases to Molokai and we do not even even have a fresh, fresh, fresh water supply. I am reluctant to defy the Prince of Wales' directions. My boys need a stove. My girls need clothes. I, I, I fear my end is near. And I am coming to Honolulu. As your bishop, it is my duty, my dear father, to advise you not to come to Honolulu. People will be afraid to deal with us and you will not say mass. We will never use the same chalice and vestments again. Could I add something, Your Grace? I, sh I would like to add, do try to have more consideration for others. Is everything all right? No, I'm all right, Joseph. God has not answered me yet. Why do you say that, Father? You know better than anyone that God never forsakes anyone. 
Uh, I have uh, used week for almost one week. I I've been unable to pray. If if they got to speak to me, then he is silent. He's not silent, Father. He's just waiting. It's good to see you. Yes. After lunch, Dr. Trousseau would like to examine you. Oh yes, please don't fuss. The bath has made me feel ten years younger. Give us three more days, Father, and you'll be running to Mass. And I'm glad the bats are helping, Father. Give us three more days and you'll be running to Mass. And I'm glad the bats are helping, Father. You truly are gifts sent from God. No one does work like you. You tend to every single leper and provide, provide them with love and friendship. A true example of love and hope. Thank you for everything, Father. I hope I can be as hardworking as you. How is, the, how is the napkin suiting you, Father? Is it too tight? There you go. If you need anything, Father Damien, the sisters, along with myself, are always around to serve you, help you. Thank you for all you've all you done for the lepers. You're a true inspiration. Hug. Hug. I'll leave you to eat. Yes, it will be wonderful to have the baths on Molokai. And, and the sisters to administrate to them. We have much to do here, Father Damien. However, although we are very busy, the sisters and I are always there by your side to help you. There are thousands of people in Molokai in need of your help. And as well, I am willing to go to Molokai to help all the lepers that are in need. We are ready to serve and help those, all those affected by the horrible disease. It is our duty to help everyone, Father. Then again, we are busy. Yes, but, yes, but. But here you have four doctors, uh, seven nuns, and a hundred patients. None of them dying. Uh, on Molokai, we have no doctors, no nuns, and 1,000 patients. All of them dying. And soon we even be without a priest. Damien, you are my cross. This is embarrassing. We've prayed this question for a long time now. You cannot send nuns to Molokai. <laughs> That's amazing when I ask for money. Molokai is a paradise. You have lost your humility, Damien. I shall mention it in confession. I don't understand. Yes, I have sores on my face and my neck and my so same on my hands and my feet. But I can assure you I have none on my body. Dr. Chuso still believes that leprosy is the fourth stage of syphilis. There have been rumors. Damien, your house is apparently open to everybody, men and women. I have kept my vow of chastity. I have never been with a woman or men, if that matters to you. Your bishop has given me permission to examine you. Please stand and remove your casket. Yeah. Okay, just stand. If he had the second stage of syphilis, he will have at least one scar. It's important to check. Mm -hmm. Check. We cannot rely on patients' words. You can pull up your trousers, Father. Father, are you all right? Please be careful. The disease has taken a really bad toll on your body. Please watch out for the steps. Let's go, Father. Aha! There's no need to worry about me. Please I'm be careful, still Father. Molokai well, needs you. We need you. Aloha, Father Damien. I am honored to meet you. Glad to see you well. It is my honor, Your Majesty. It's so good to see you. Thank you for all the work you've done for the men, women, and children. Thank you for caring for my people, the people of Hawaii. Yes. I hope you can stay and get some rest. 
we have everything prepared for you, Father. We also have nurses and servants to tend to your every need. We always have a place for you here in Honolulu. Do you plan on staying here, Father? No, I hope to return as soon as possible. But on the bus and the treatment have helped very much. I wish it is something the people of Molokai could experience. This well would be very expensive. Perhaps the new nurses' residence could be delayed. The money may be more suited for those in need of immediate treatment rather than potential ones in the future. This is possible. In fact, definitely it could it could be done. I was just telling the highness how wonderful it would be to have nuns on Molokai. Well, well, this has always been our intention, nuns to Molokai. It certainly has been. Sister Le Leopoldina was telling me that the priest from Belgium has arrived who wants to serve in the cell. Unfortunately, he is not of your order and it, it takes about a year. Yes, I don't think I'll last a year. There are dispensations, are they not? Or perhaps you could come until he is ready, Father Leonor. Thirteen people in my house and I don't know what they believe. Come on, got me, got, got, uh, got me. Uh. There have been rumors, Damien. Your house is apparently open. The sisters to administrate to them. Mother Marianne. Oh. <laughs>